in the world of Kenya Sevens Rugby, Gordon Anampu definitely left a mark. A mark that turned out to be the launch pad for what is now one of the core teams of the IRB Sevens circuit. It has been a journey that he can sit back and say he started back in the day. I started playing rugby many years ago in high school. Uh, after high school, I played for Mean Machine. For uh, that was my first club. No, probably my first club was Mombasa Sports Club. Then Mean Machine. Uh, left that, went over, played at uh, Harlequins. I've also played for Kenya Sevens and Kenya Fifteens, captaining both sides. Thereafter, I've also been a coach for the Kenya Sevens in 2005-2006 and uh, finally a director of the uh, Kenya Rugby Football Union. His club rugby started away from Nairobi, where most of the Kenyan players launched their careers. Gordon started at the Mombasa Sports Club, then moved on to the then team to watch Mean Machine of Nairobi University. This is where his rugby blossomed. My days at Mean Machine were late 80s and that's, if you look at it, that's uh, almost uh, 35 years ago so it's 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 changed quite quite a bit but it did not end that machine he went on to turn out for kenya harlequins where he cemented his position in the national rugby teams between 2005 and 2006 anampu coached the kenya sevens it was a job that entailed preparing kenya for only two legs of the irb seven circuit that kenya was invited to those few tournaments were enough to make him reach boiling point because of the pressure. From coaching to management, and Anampu served as a director at the Kenya Rugby Union until 2008 when he ventured off rugby. When I was coaching, yes, uh, resources were a challenge when it comes to player allowances and, and things like that. But the expectation then was not as high as the expectation of, of, of the players playing now. Looking back at his playing and early years of coaching, he says rugby was more of a hobby, but now it is more serious and very professional. In my, my coaching days, I would say the basics were provided. A playing pitch, showers, kit, you know, there were enough balls. There was, uh, you know, the, the transportation and the accommodation. Those are the, the bare basics. Allowances uh, delivered sometimes on time, sometimes not on time. But I think at that time, players were playing for uh, different reasons. Maybe, maybe they are the same reasons today, I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not really in touch. But uh, we, would get, we would get by. I mean, we would go by with uh, 300 or 400 shillings per session per player, including the coaches and the team manager. Which, which was fine because the expectation then was bus fare and, and probably a bowl of soup after, after the tournament. Now the expectations are much higher and uh, it, it's something that the, you know, the players and the management of, of the players have to reach a compromise on. Kenya has now had two foreign coaches for the national sevens team, Englishman's Mike Friday and the current coach Paul True. Anampu believes this is the right way to go if we have the resources. Gordon Anampu, soft-spoken but a true achiever on the rugby pitch, both as player and coach. He currently runs the Culling Autos Limited Company.